Deleting records is very similar to updating records. It works in more or less exactly the same way. The only difference is that we use the delete from keyword instead of update. So let's take a look at deleting, say, the introduction to PHP article, or in fact, the working with MySQL and things article, it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and use the delete from um, keywords uh, or command. And again, as you probably already know, we choose the table that we want to delete from. Now, running this command is extremely dangerous. What this is going to do is it's going to delete all records. So delete from articles on its own with a semicolon, hit enter, that will delete all records in your database table. So be really, really careful when you're issuing these kind of commands. What we now want to do is instead of delete from articles, we want to uh, provide a where clause and define where we want to update this or delete from. So we want to say where id equals to. Now, when we run this command, obviously what it's going to do is it's going to delete from the articles table, but only where the id of a record, so id being the column, is equal to two. So when I hit enter, it says query OK, one row affected as we expect. So when I select star from articles, select all, all columns, uh, we go ahead and we can o we only see one uh, record in here. Now, be really careful when you're deleting. Uh, as you can see, it can be extremely dangerous if you've got a lot of data in your database. Um, what happens here is um, this is actually you know, um, well, it doesn't give any warning. So if you were to go ahead and choose uh, delete um, from articles, uh, it won't prompt you and say, are you sure you want to delete everything? It will just go ahead and delete it. So make sure that you, you know, issue these commands really, really carefully when you're deleting data from your database table.